thing. That gallbladder was like this big. Friday morning, quick stop at the dog park. Benny's all snowy, minus 15, another cold day. Today I'm gonna be doing some feedlot calls, looking at some chronic sick pens and doing some implant checks. So that's the day. Phineas and I are heading out on the road. We're going to the first of our calls for today. We're gonna meet up with Megan at a few feedlots to go through some Hurt health reviews. We're going to do some implant. Almost put it right in the rhubarb there. And it's gridlock. We're gonna do some implant evaluations. So that's gonna mean we're going to take a few different animals out of each pen and we're gonna run them through the chute, a good subset of what's going on, and then we will. Mark those animals down for things like missing implants, abscessed implants, fluids, separated, all different things that can decrease the implant's overall total effect for improving efficiency. Our goal is 90% good implants or better. Then we'll run through some chronic pens, so animals that are have been chronically moribund for a longer period of time. We're gonna just evaluate their overall weight gain, their body condition, and any other serious issues such as lameness. Uh, perhaps it will make a recommendation to euthanize, and maybe we won't, but we're just going through the farmer's chronic pen uh, just so they get a second set of eyes on those cattle, uh, making the right decisions of whether or not they should continue with treatment or if they should euthanize. Hey Bo, this prod end's as tall as you are. I know. <laughs> I think it's taller. What do you need that for, you truck driver? All done at the first herd health check. We did the implant check. Everything was really good there. And then we went into the chronic pen. Uh, we ended up euthanizing two animals for lameness and condition issues. I'm heading off to a Hutterite colony to do the same thing over again by myself. Megan is on her way to a feedlot to do some postmortems now. And then to finish up the day, I have some postmortems booked at another uh, two feedlots. The big nasty. That's all pus. So her pericardial sac is completely adhesed to her heart surface, pericarditis. I do postmortems on a lot of cows and I've never ever seen this. This is this cow's gallbladder right here. This gallbladder is like literally the size of a basketball. That is unbelievable. How does... It... That is the most unbelievable gallbladder. I've ever seen. That makes no sense. 
liver is like completely green. So that postmortem took way longer than usual, but it was amazing. So first off, that cow had that huge abscess right in the, her pericardial sac, so the sac that revolves around her heart. She also had pericarditis, so inflammation of the heart surface itself. Typically in cull cows, I see that that coincides with a reticulopericarditis. That is a fancy word for hardware disease or when a piece of metal or a nail sticks through the reticulum and goes into the, the thorax or the chest cavity and presses against the heart and causes an infection. I tried everything to try to find a nail on that cow. I was looking all in her reticulum, nothing, nothing at all. So she had just your plain old pericardial abscess and I have no, no reason why. But so I have a cause of death, but the most insane thing was that gallbladder. Like, okay, cow's gallbladder is like this big, that big, that's it. This gallbladder was like, serious, I can't even get it on the screen. It was huge. And the, the liver was all green, and I have no idea what that is. Sometimes we see a green liver with post-mortem change. She wasn't that autolyzed. She was a little autolyzed. So I don't know what was going on with that liver. No idea. Unbelievable. So my last postmortem of the week, this animal presented with nervous signs and what I found was a septicemia. So he had a generalized blood infection. But I cut out his normal gallbladder just so you guys can see the comparison. Okay? Look at this. Normal gallbladder. Size of my fist or so. So that's a lot different than the finny size gallbladder. Just for interest sake, if you look right there, you see a little hole, and that is the bile duct. So that's where all the bile comes out. Now you know. All right, all done for the day, actually done for the week. So there will not be any vlogs going out Saturday and Sunday unless something super crazy happens during the weekend, like having a baby or something. Well, that doesn't happen. Back to work on Monday, straight through Christmas, Boxing Day, and the 27th. So I will be on. For next week, looks pretty busy. We are continuing doing some preg checking but we're running short staff so i should have lots of stuff to do in the field i really enjoyed the truck episode where i went through my truck uh mainly because it was a request that came in so if you guys want to hear about any specific aspect about what i do just ask i'm all in i'm looking for those suggestions so leave suggestions in the comments for anything you want to see and that would be amazing to do okay well that's it for the day Thanks so much for watching. That gallbladder was like this big.